what we are about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. Hello, today we are playing through all of this, chapter 1, 2, and everything in between. This will be a long video so get comfortable. Hey fellas, welcome to Faith Chapter 1. Um, I have played this game before, but I didn't upload videos at the time, so... Yeah, I just felt like going through everything because it's been so long. I haven't played Chapter 2 or the Chapter 2 demo, so that's gonna be fun. But Chapter 3 is coming out soon! Uh, apparently it's in its, like, final testing phase, so... We're gonna play everything and, um, catch us all up, you know? Hell yeah. Man, it's been so long. It feels like he, like, walks faster. I played the- ah, shut up. I'm talking. Yeah, I don't know. It feels, um, like maybe John's faster. I played, like, the original, and I guess it's 1.4 now. Um, that's interesting, right? I, I do know we're gonna go for all the endings. I don't know how long that's gonna take, so I hope you brought snacks. I want the thing. I caught some people walking through the woods around the house last week. Not kids, just regular adults. They told me they got lost while hiking. I pointed them back towards the road. The whole thing just didn't feel right. I think I should go dig up Bob's rifle out of storage. Interesting. I wonder if we'll ever find a rifle in this game. So here's something interesting I didn't know about this game. Shut up. <laughs> Apparently, um... Like, all the rocks and trees are randomly generated. Ah! They're randomly generated. <laughs> Public Lecture by Carl James Osborne. Connecticut's historical connections to witchcraft, Satanism, and the beast system, Wednesday at 8 p.m. Sweet. So yeah, like, all these rooms are randomly generated. Is this rock hiding something? I will not run. The Lord is my refuge. Fuck. Give me... Give me something. There we go. Oh, is this... I thought that was a note. Damn. I've been fooled. Mr. Martin, it has taken longer than expected registering the markers on your property as a historical cemetery. Our office has had difficulty identifying who was buried there. The inscriptions on the gravestones are written in a language that we cannot identify. I've sent the gravestone rubbings to some of my peers at the University of Connecticut. I will reach out to you when I get a response from them. All the best. Daryl Henderson, State of Connecticut Historical Society. Cool. Are you hiding something? Yeah. Ah, there we go! Today I noticed Amy's favorite tree looks like it's dying. All the needles are falling off it, and the bark is peeling. I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. She is totally absorbed in her volunteer work at the clinic. I guess it's good that she found something she's passionate about. But I've gotten ugly looks from some of the women at the book club. Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me anymore. You know, I, I, I hope you're not looking to me to explain the story and stuff, because... Like I said, I only played the first one. I just know that there's a creepy little girl who has been possessed a year before this date. Or something like that. <laughs> we'll figure it out together, don't worry. No! 
I will not run. What an absolutely troubling maze this is. Ah, oh, there we go. That's fucking handy. <laughs> Not for long. God! <laughs> Has it always been this way? I swear I've had, like, easier times finding shit. There we go. Ah! You're invited. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday, Saturday, May 3rd, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Directions, turn right at 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road and go straight past the well. Let's do it. I... come on. <laughs> I know the key has to be somewhere around here. God damn it, it's still locked. I'm pretty sure we need to find a key. Yes, John. What the hell? Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your care and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation in return for their discretion. Discretion. You will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome. Cardinal Gifford. Gifford? Gifford? I'm gonna say Gifford. People who say GIF are incorrect. No, that's not true. It's actually GIF. You wanna know how I know? It stands for like graphical interface format or something like that. And graphical. I mean, you wouldn't pronounce it giraffical, right? So... I just eviscerated everybody who believes it's GIF. Dude, where is this key? Am I stupid? I'm running out of content. I just- I can't keep talking. No way! No! <laughs> Holy shit! Get back in my car and leave? The ultimate ending. I love this song. Oh, here we go. The Marn's house lies about a hundred yards off of Snake Meadow Hill Road. There is almost no driveway. Trees jut out in the middle of a great gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Allred seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father Alfred, Allred? Allred. <laughs> Explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house. But the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the right that may seem harsh to the layperson. True. I remember this, yeah. I'm pretty sure he, like, jumps out you. Ah, yabba yabba. I thought it happened outside, though. Alright. Let's get home. Should be up here. And we can finally begin. Oh, we found it. Oh, let me in. Sweet. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair perfectly calm, staring at us. It is hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. Yeah, Amy's fucking crazy. There's a coat on this coat rack. Damn. Imagine your bedroom's right next to the front door. Fuck no. No thanks. There's someone behind me. I don't like it.
I wonder how he did that reflection in Game Maker. Probably not even a reflection. Actually, I doubt it's a reflection. Maybe it is. There's a picture on the fridge. What is it? What do we got? Nothing. Damn. I don't remember this house being this way. I remember there it was like a party. There was always something happening. Where the fuck? <laughs> Man, can you believe it's been like four years? Oh. Dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter you asked, what's the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary? The area we are working in has a lot of folks who practice, uh, Kimbamba? Kimbamba? It's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints they worship is San La Muerte, or Saint Death. Yesterday, we talked to a boy about 15. When we asked him if he had ever prayed, he said, No, but I have prayed to San La Muerte. He told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house, and according to him, they prayed to some figures of San La Muerte, and the figures made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him he could pray to God and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to the church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months, Layton. Hmm. Is this a spider? What is that? Cursed washing machine? Cursed dryer? I think I got those backwards. Hello? Certainly nothing will happen here. I actually don't remember. One of you cursed. One of you fuckers has to be. You're not fooling anybody. Probably the sewing machine that's cursed. No? Damn, I don't know anything. Ah, okay. Let's read the note first. <laughs> Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the right for long. Mrs. Martin was hysterical, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off of the fear. Father Allred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother! Mother! the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to check on, on things. I found Father Allred lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. That's fucked, man. That's why you don't... You're not supposed to leave a man behind. No. God, I, re I remember this. This is so cool. She's here! <laughs> Hell yeah. I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name and in other instances, Poke, sp Poke spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came. So I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. That's some man shit, dude. I'd be a little bitch. Ooh, spider's cursed. Be honest with yourself. If you were in the attic and it was freezing cold and there was like a demon girl, you would, you would not... You would not begin reciting pages of a book. Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird-looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Anish about it next time we have book club. She looks like she could be from over there. 
Oh my god, that's kind of racist. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. How old is Amy? <laughs> I guess I never questioned that. I thought she was like a teenager. She's volunteering, right? It's not work. Oh, fuck. Fucking guessed that right on the first try. That was weird. We're not always so lucky. Are you cursed? No. It's like 90% of what faith is. It's just raising your crucifix and hope something glows. Alright, looks like we're... This room is clear. Exercise bike is clear. I'm not even gonna try the weights. Shut up. Uh, damn. How about this picture? Nope. I think this door is locked, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we have to find the key to that. Um, hmm. Oh, Jesus Christ! That actually fucking got me. I did, I did not remember that. I don't think that was a thing. Spooky, spooky. Can you guys believe it's almost Halloween? And I'm a horror game channel and haven't thought of, like, anything cool for us to do? I'm a failure, dude. I'll come up with something, I promise. <laughs> ah, no, 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 no. Been there, done that. Nope, nope, don't care. No! Damn! Give me that note. Aww. They're so precious together. Are you- Ah! Da -da -da. Did I get her? Um... Damn, dude. Where is that key? Is this a staircase? Damn, it is. Okay. Uh, I don't think the key is down there. Or maybe it is. Oh, okay. Well, let's go. I think maybe we just had to beat her up a couple times. Was that three first tries in a row? I don't remember, but I think it may have been. So here's the uh, the moment of truth, the boss fight, I believe. Karen, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She, she my superior father, with, when I confronted her, she managed to cut the power to the house and her own parents with their own. I have to go back to that house. The nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there, waiting for me. I can still help her. If I don't come back, know that I love you and that I'm sorry. John. So everybody always has an issue with this bad. Ah, with this boss fight, but, um, I don't know, like, I just never... My God, what happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? Let's find I out. I what I started. I, I... <laughs> I don't think she's, uh, I don't think she's as difficult as, I don't know. I guess it might have been when John was slower. Yeah, yeah, I see you. No, wait! Man, that's some long distance praying. Look at that. Oh, shit, that kind of got me.
Get up, bitch. Wait, I don't remember. Okay. Yeah, John being faster is like a really big deal because... Because you can just always get out of the way now. Before, when he was slower, it was like... Oh, wait. When he was slower, this might have been way more difficult, maybe? Get up, bitch. Get fucking crucified. Uh, not crucified, that's the wrong thing. Get fucking blessed. 360 bless. You're the right one. Uh, uh, oh shit. I just made Lord your refuge. What else can we say? <laughs> From the Vatican, baby. Oh shit, alright, here's the part that everybody struggles with that I don't understand. Ah, wait, I'm stupid! I thought I had more time. <laughs> alright, hear me out though. Alright, the pentagram tells you where she's gonna go. She's gonna go up right, and then she's gonna go down left. So just do this, and then she's gonna move over here, then up to the left, and then to the center. God, that was close. Oh. I don't know which way she's gonna go. Okay. Up left? Oh, wait! Dude, your little homing thing. It got me. I suck. I guess I shouldn't have been talking trash. But you guys get it, right? Like, it's not... It's not some, like, crazy... ...difficult thing, I don't think. I'm doing some fucking damage, though. That's for sure. We're completely safe. Oh! Die, bitch. Oh, shit. I think we did it. I don't remember. Get blessed. That's right. <laughs> Look at this John swag. Alright, so what ending should we get first? What do you guys think? Oh, look at that. Everybody says get the good ending first. Okay, good ending. And then we get the other endings. So I, I'm pretty sure that we just go all the way down and then we use the gun to defend ourselves from Michael. And then we can leave peacefully. Now, if only I could find my car. I think this... This is it right here. And we gotta just be on the lookout for that bitch. Oh, there he is. What about Bob Ross? Thanks, Airdorf. Right on time. I 
You did the right thing. You did it, John. Ending 5 of 5 when Faith endures. Police! Animal experts investigate chupacabra remains found near Sterling. Sterling PD is enlisting that ah, enlisting enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of an animal, which some residents are calling a chupacabra, were discovered on Snake Metal Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist who discovered the remains had told them that they appeared to be of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that the remains were of some kind of animal. As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here. Said a Sterling police spokesman, This is clearly not a deer or a coyote. If it's a mountain lion or exotic pet that has escaped from its owners, or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found, although they commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets a vitamin D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. All right. So, what other ending should we go with? Um fun bullet. Let's go um let's go get the uh the um uh, bad ending. I believe it's over here. We got to find the bitch. And by bitch, I mean Amy, the <laughs> the girl, the like 14 year old girl or whatever. Show some respect, Lod. God damn it. Snipe. That's all I had to say. Didn't even scope in for that one. Yeah, we gave her the intervention. I don't remember what ending this is, but I'm pretty sure that this is considered, like, um, a murderer ending? Let's go home. Game over. Ending 1 of 5. Murderer. Police arrest man accused of murdering missing girl. A New York man is in custody after he confessed to the murder of a sterling girl who had been missing. John Ward of Palmyra was pulled over on Snake Meadow Hill Road last night after a state trooper reported hearing a gunshot. The officer thought it might be poachers. The officer said Ward was acting nervous and suspicious after being pulled over. When questioned, Ward rep reportedly said, I've killed her. According to the police report, the officer called for backup afterward. After Ward became increasingly upset, saying repeatedly that there was a demon inside her. Ward was taken to Sterling Police Headquarters for further questioning. Ward then confessed to authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institution. After a brief search, police located Amy's body in the woods near the now-abandoned now abandoned Martin home. In addition to receiving a gunshot wound, to the stomach, Amy showed injuries suggesting that she had been thrown out of a second-story window of the house. An officer who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal manner. Ward was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over. It is suspected that he impersonated a priest to gain his victim's trust after Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that Ward was not an ordained minister. The rest of the article is missing. Damn. Bad ending, John. Now, um, which one should we get? We did the bad ending. Let's try to do the, uh, let's try to do the, um, the controversial ending. John is, is, <laughs> he's not holding the gun. Funny observation. I think he's super ambidextrous. 
I know this motherfucker's out here. I'm gonna eat today. Hey, this isn't what I was looking for, but, um, that's right. Can I bless this? No. What a fool that guy is camping out here. Peeker's advantage. That's <laughs> so stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not even going to explain that one. Now let's bless it before we leave. Cool. <laughs> Father and son. John was hit by Honda hands. Esteemed Cardinal Gifford, with all due respect, you cannot grasp the importance of the work I am doing for young Michael without being present here. Michael needs my help more than ever. In the past few weeks, I have made great progress with Michael's affliction. Nevertheless, whatever darkness is inside of him fights back with increasing ferocity. We must not let up the fight against the enemy at such a critical time. There is another reason why I dare not return Michael to his family, nor let them see him. The darkness inside him afflicts his soul, but it also causes a terrible strain on his body. So that there may be no mistaking what I mean, I have enclosed a photograph of young Michael during one of our sessions. The photograph is missing. Dang. All right. Well, now let's get the actual controversial ending. <laughs> it's not, I mean, it's, if you, it's not controversial because there was like Kotaku articles about it, right? It's not, that's not what I mean. It's just controversial because you're killing an animal for no reason. What good is it? Why would you do it? Because you're fucking John Ward, that's why. The Baba Yaga. Oh, there we go. Let me line this up. 360. Have I missed yet? No. I don't miss. Let's go home. I'm sure we'll make it this time. I will say of the war, it is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror. This is so scary, actually. <laughs> A hunter. Unidentified body discovered near wrecked car. The site of a deadly car accident was discovered along a road near Sterling this morning, along with the body of a person who has not been identified. At 6 a.m. this morning, a resident called to report an accident along Snake Meadow Hill Road. The driver of a silver sedan had swerved off the road and struck a tree. The spokesman for the police commented that the body appeared to have been tr dragged several yards away from the car deeper into the woods after having been ejected from the front windshield. It was noted that the body had been mangled beyond recognition. Investigators suspect this was possibly, or probably, the work of coyotes. Police also noted that parts of a cleaned white tailed deer were found in the trunk of the car. From a white tailed deer, a hunter typically gets 75 pounds of meat. However, it appears the victim of the accident was only able to carry 25 pounds back to the car. Hmm. That's strange, isn't it? I, I think I know how to get... Bang! Chaos reigns.
Why would you stop? Game over, ending 3 of 5, The Offering. That's fucking all of them, right? We got 5 out of 5, the good ending, the bad ending, the shoot a random guy in the shed ending, the, um, the deer killing one, and then this one, yeah, we got them all. Hello, Amy. I am sorry to hear about your parents' decision. It is hard for people to trust what they do not understand. I know you are only 17, but you are clearly an adult and you are able to handle your own life. Do not let your mom and dad stop you from following your dreams. If there is anything I can do to help you, just let me know. We are having a get-together at the clinic Saturday night, and I would love for you to stop by. We still consider you a part of the team, even if your mom and dad do not. We hope to see you there. Gary. Alright. So that's that. Now let's play the let's play the chapter two demo. All right, this is the chapter two demo. Our crucifix is white. That's the first thing I've noticed. Okay, we can go. Oh, now my card is on fire. Okay, <laughs> all right. We started off kind of rough, but um. We'll figure this out. Is Michael still around? I... I bet you're cursed. There's no way. Damn. This is a strong curse. Can you die? I don't think you can. I'll count to three. One. Two. And a three. Alright, he's immortal. He's immune to God. Oh, hell no. No thanks. Can I? Holy shit, man. Are you okay now? Oh, you're a little more messed up. I think I could make it. Yeah. This one I can't. Die! My faith has never been stronger. Oh, you're like really scary now. When am I allowed to exercise you? I, I don't have an objective, but I think we're just supposed to bully the Scarecrow. Oh, here we go. Hey. Alright. Maybe they want us to go a different direction? Oh, shit. Die, bitch. No match, dude. That's kind of scary. What is wrong with you, Scarecrow? <laughs> I wonder if this is like a cheat. No, it's not. We, I think we have to hurt the monster. Oh my god, is that a pit bull? No! Don't worry, he went to heaven. I made sure of it. About a week ago, we started hearing those awful noises coming from the adjacent fields. After three nights, the children were getting pretty scared. I told them it was just coyotes. 
That third night, the noises seemed closer than ever. The dogs were panicking. I could hardly approach them. Then, Greta, the last of that old line brought over by the German missionaries, broke loose and tore off into the corn. We all listened, too scared to go after her, as her barks faded away into the distance. After that, we had two nights of silence besides the end. Endless whispering of the wind blowing through the crops, but then, this morning, I stepped outside to see this fresh horror. Horror. <laughs> left at the edge of the field. There's something out there. So it's a German Sheppy dude? Oh. Are those trees? What more could I have done? I warned them not to go into the fields. I warned them against straying too far from the sanctuary. Should I have shut them in their quarters and nailed boards over the doors? Now I am digging six graves here in the shadow of the church. Six little graves forever looking to St. William. Some of the boxes are empty. The scattered remains we found couldn't fill them all, but I know they're all gone. I know their souls were taken by that thing in the field. I will finish my gruesome work and then renounce the ministry. I don't want to see anyone from the sanctuary ever again. Not even that girl who stayed inside the house last night. I don't believe in the devil anymore. Whatever did this is much, much worse. That's, um... That's a... That's a pretty crazy take, dude. Ooh! Death awaits. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> We have a new volunteer to look after the children and take care of things around the sanctuary. Sister Bell. She came highly recommended by the main office in Hartford. Bringing her in marks the completion of staffing the church after all these years. The church has been very careful about letting out what happened to those children. As far as I can tell, I'm the only one left who knows about it. Soon I'll be gone and the sanctuary will be able to go back into service, having finally left those dark times behind. We've even received clearance to move in a new group of children. Three next week, and another three sometime next month. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that didn't go well. How could Sister Bell even be okay with that? Unless she didn't know, right? If I was, like, any kind of religious figure, I just feel like, oh, what the hell? Yeah, take that. Um, if I was any kind of religious figure, and there was anything shady even close to that, I would not be part of that. <laughs> Sister Bell seems like a naturally cheery person, but when the new children arrived, she became positively elated. She doles over them constantly, takes them on walks, and tells them stories long into the night. I have seen her engaging in strange behavior. We don't teach the children much dancing or singing besides what is found in the hymns, but I have seen the children dancing around Sister Bell in a circle from time to time. While they dance, she stands still and looks up at the sky as if listening to something. On another occasion, I found all six children standing in a line just outside the cornfield. They were all looking into the field, where Sister Bell was standing and talking to them. These odd games don't bother me too much, since she's so good with the children. Her cleaning is excellent, too. As soon as she arrived, she seemed to just instantly know her way around. Alright, well... Forget everything I said about Sister Belle. She's Sinister Belle, actually. Bitch is evil. Can you be prayed? No. How about you? Nope. Ooh. Uh, thou, not shalt, will thou. Thou, what the hell? Alright. <laughs> Let's grab it. It has to be stronger than ours, right? Wait, could I have blessed this crucifix? Okay, just making sure. Why does that open? You guys see that, right? Look at that. It, I guess it closes. It's a staircase. 
They couldn't have given me a worse last case before retirement. Damn. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> old Catholic church out in the middle of nowhere. One missing woman, four missing kids, and one deceased old nun. The brothers and sisters, or whatever the hell the people that work here call themselves, are all terrified, and worse, superstitious. All except Father Clark, who runs the place. Him and I drive along the farm roads at night, looking for signs of the missing people, and he makes for pretty good company. There are two kids left, twins, say they were asleep the night the four went missing. They also claim that the woman, Miriam Bell, isn't actually gone. When I ask where she is, they look at each other, then back at me and tell me to ask her myself. She's in the room. She is here. You're a fucking demon, dude. All of you. <laughs> that's kind of... I don't know, there's just something about this that, uh... Pretty funny. Is that a door? I have to check. It's discolored stained glass. I saw that. Man, I don't, you know, I really don't like, um, I really don't like nuns very much. Nuns are, nah, I don't. I had a feeling it was rustling in here, whatever this is. Yeah, I don't really like nuns, dude. There's just something about them, you know? It's not right. This morning, we found these very odd objects around the church. The best way I can describe them would be large, life-size dolls made of sticks and dead tree branches. Someone must have placed them there while we were sleeping. Hoodlums, maybe. Or a group of weirdos. The twins seem fixated on these doll things. They stare out the window at them all the day. I even heard them shout that they saw Miriam standing around them. But when I looked, there was nobody there. Maybe it's the strange behavior of the twins or the hours of driving these farm roads at night, but this place is getting to me. I keep having the same nightmare when I'm standing outside the church looking out into the fields. I can see people looking back at me through the rows of corn. Their bodies are pointed, painted red. I saw something in that window, dude. Is this a laptop? Oh, I forgot what year it was. Is this a laptop? Fuck is wrong with me. We are many. I had no choice. We are many. I had no choice. Sweet. Oh, I thought I could maybe do like a confessional. That would have been cool. I should have known this place was no good. The signs were all around me. The disappearances, the creepy twins, the life-size stick dolls, four of them. Around two in the morning, we woke up to the sound of an old woman's cackle coming from the hallway outside the twins' room. I know this sounds crazy, but when we got to the hallway, the laughing was coming from a painting of the Virgin Mary. We thought we had lost our minds. Just then, we heard a loud noise coming from the chapel. We got there just in time to see Miriam drag the twins down the stairs, leading to the basement. I drew my service weapon, but was stopped by Father Clark. He said something about God's work and headed down the stairs, sealing the opening to the stairs behind him. The stairs don't seem to open from this side. All I could do is wait. I can't describe the noises I heard down there, but one thing is certain. The devil is real. To anyone reading this, please... For the love of God, don't go down into that basement. Listen, chap. I still can't. I think I have to do something up here. But, trust me, there is no one more qualified than John Ward. Hey, 
Settle down. Alright, it's okay. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh my god, I have to do everything again? <laughs> I don't even know what I did wrong. Shit. Long distance snipe. Yeah, we just have to leave. Cool. Darkness surrounds thee. And a save. This is such a terrible flashlight. Oh my god. Alright, we can go down or we could go up. Let's go down. This sucks, man. Oh my god. What is that? Oh. Oh. I don't like it anymore. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> this is fucked. The twins! Dude, this is fuck. This is fucked. Die, bitch. Something about nine flavors? I don't know. We gotta get out of here. How do I leave? Is there a door? Damn, that was rough, man. I think I could just leave, right? Yeah, I don't think there's a door anywhere. Alright, let's just leave. Fuck. I'm gonna beat her up, dude. Here is the ritual of the door to hell. Let no brother or sister utter it. He that is master of spirits, let three spirits that follow the dragon be put into the effigy of the accursed. Only then... Can it be purified? You will know it is time when its eyes glow red. To enter the unseen world, destroy the purified effigy with fire. Then shall the door to hell be opened. This is the ritual of the door to hell. Let no brother or sister utter it. So what do we have to do? Let's see. Uh, da -da -da -da. Follow the dragon be put into the effigy of the accursed. Only then can it be purified. Let three spirits that follow the dragon be put into the effigy. Hmm. So we have to set something on fire. Oh no, you don't. Get over here. Oh, fuck. Alright. Airdorf Games. Wait, is that the demo? Shit. <laughs> I want to know. We won, right? Score 530 out of 666. Yeah? Well, what do you want me to do about that, Airdorf? That's not fair. Can I go down? Ooh, interesting thing. Why is he smiling? Winners don't do drugs. Alright, this is chapter two. Coming soon, huh? That's strange. How could it be any more coming soon? <laughs> the, <laughs> chapter three comes out in like a week or something. Alright, so we are either a different color John or not John. Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your custody and return him to his home immediately. 
Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation in return for their discretion. You will meet a representative there and accompany him back to Rome, Cardinal Gifford. Give me my Bible. I'm gonna need it, I think. Dude, where do I live? This is no place for a father. This is worrisome. The bathroom is there's no there's not even a door. One day. Two weeks. Fuck, you just leave this in your kitchen? Three months. Ugh. Why, Father Garcia? Why? Oh, shit, Father Garcia. You've got some secrets. This is fucking awesome. Take a blessing. The exact thing I didn't want to happen has happened. How did he get out? No! He used to be so happy. Alright, let's get out of here. I want to I wanna look back in here real quick, just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You see? You see? You see? Trust in me. What's in here? <laughs> What did I get? Alright, well I got it. Whatever it was, I got it. Shit. I'll have to put that back up later. Michael? I have Damn. Whoa. What was that? <laughs> it's 2 a.m. Oh shit. Are we John again? John's iconic blue. I want to go down. You never know, there might be something. You telling me there's not there's nothing here? Come on. Like I haven't read Airdorf's Twitter. That guy's a menace. Oh no, let's go up. That was wrong. But maybe if we go left. Oh Let's 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 just go right. <laughs> I'm just there there's always like a need to find a secret in this game. Notice, Aviso. The current investigation being conducted at Gallup Cemetery by the State of Connecticut Historical Society has been postponed until further notice. In the interim, we ask the public to avoid the cemetery grounds, the surrounding woods, any wildlife, and any unidentified persons roaming the area. Thank you for your patience. Ooh, ah. It's getting Spanish in here, dude. John Ward coming through. One of you. One of these gravestones is not like the other. <gasps> I knew it. Might as well get them all, right? Fuck it, we'll include the tree. <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? 
I shook hands with the devil. I looked him in the eye. He looked like a long-lost friend. That is a... F man, that is a fucked up quote if I've ever read one. Dearest disciple, verily, not everyone who says Lucifer, Lucifer shall inherit his kingdom. You must first conjure his demon. You must then serve his demon. You must then walk among the children of men as his demon. Thus shall you receive the blessing of the unspeakable. Return to the save family tomb whenever you are in need of rest. Gary. Enter the spirit house. Is this the, um, what is this? Who are you people? <laughs> I've blessed them all, whether they like it or not. Um, so this wasn't a safe place. They fucking lied to me. Okay. We have three directions to go. Let's start left, and we'll go up and right. At some point through this, I'll have to, um, check how many endings there are in this game. There's- I feel like there's gotta be, like, at least two or three, right? Okay. Ah, oh, you should- this kid is crazy, dude. Stop running from me. Oh, shit. You annoying little bitch. Oh! Wait, did he get me? Oh, you... Is this the ritual they were talking about of the three red souls or whatever in the chap in chapter two demo? And this unlocks the portal to hell or whatever? Is that what's going on here? I wanna beat this kid. The clouds actually make this like way more difficult than they need to be. <laughs> Yeah, he hides in the clouds. Look at that. Okay, that makes a lot of sense, right? He's gonna go to this one. Oh no, he didn't. Which one's he gonna go to? Okay, fuck, I gotta get out of here. Get absolutely fucking eviscerated, kid. Losing Grandpa was the hardest thing I ever experienced. We were really close. I cried, ab I cried about it for weeks, then my stepmom introduced me to some of her friends. They asked me, would you like to see your grandfather again? I missed him so much I was willing to try anything. That night, my stepmom drove me to one of her friend's house. They took me down to the basement. I saw my grandfather in there, only it wasn't actually him. When I tried to run, they closed the basement door and locked me in. I can't remember much else from that night. My stepmom's friends are always coming by the house now. They tell me I have a debt to pay. They say they have work for me to do. If that ever happened to me, I think... I think I would enlist the help of all my friends and we would beat up all those ladies. It'd be the world's most brutal jumping of old ladies in history. That's some tough guy shit. <laughs> oh, it loops. Great. Oh, 
Um, maybe we keep going north? Shit. You gotta give me- you gotta give me a hint. At least one. Are these stones the, uh, the way? Up, left, down, right? Let's try it. Or maybe it's right, down, left, up. Right, up, left, down? Which way am I supposed to read this? Oh, I see. Yeah, we don't know shit. We're stupid. I get it. <laughs> I said we because it makes me feel better. Alright, I've saved. Let's go this way now. I think, um, I might have the key to this? No? Okay. Aha! You're not fooling anybody. It is with great sadness that the Sterling community announces the passing of Cindy Marie Martin, 38, and Robert Kimball Martin, 48. Devoted husband and wife and beloved parents, their lives tragically came to an end on September 21st due to an accident in their home. Bob was a training advisor for the United States Navy and Cindy was a CPA and, more recently, a stay-at-home mother. They were married March 12, 1969, in Voluntown. Though not particularly religious, they taught their children to be kind, generous, and involved in the community. A public closed casket memorial will be held at Tilling Guest Funeral Home at 10 a.m. Thursday. Bur burial services will proceed shortly after. Bob and Cindy are survived by their daughter Amy and twin boys Nate and Jason. Huh? Twins? Is this whole family just messed up? Come on, dude. Come on. Look at that thing. I'm shocked that nothing has happened yet. Oh, okay. So now that the... <laughs> now that the door is open... Um... We can go that way. Shut the fuck up. I really hope we don't die and have to do all that again. Fuck. Oh. You dead? Hell yeah. Nobody was thrilled when I got pregnant. Not even a little happy. Even my doctor seemed to be judging me. Each time I'd leave the doctor's office, I'd see the strange woman across the street. All she'd do is stare at me and smile. No words, just a big, warm smile. Somehow, it made those visits a little more bearable. After I lost the baby, I saw her again across the street from the doctors. Her smile was as big as ever, but somehow not as warm and friendly as I remember. Yesterday, I was walking and was shocked to see the woman standing in the middle of the path. Now she, she was pregnant. She beckoned towards me. I followed her off the path into the woods. That's when I met Gary. Fuck. I don't like Gary. What an ominous name. And yet, kinda cartoony, but also makes sense, you know? So that's two. Damn, I gotta figure this one out. How the hell do we figure this out? Let's just go around it. What the hell? 
Wait, that's the portal or whatever, isn't it? God damn it. <laughs> what if we just make a left here? And then go down? Ah, shit. <laughs> I've been doing this for like three or four minutes at this point. I've tried like every combination I can think of. Oh, shit. I think that was it. I don't even remember what I did. That was it! You were the easiest one! I've been freed. No more overbearing father turned violent alcoholic. No more ki hiding my bruises and cuts. No more pills and needles. No more getting laughed at and kicked around. They'll never laugh at me again. By day, my body withers away, but by night, my mind explores forbidden worlds of power and knowledge, guided by beings of pure darkness. I have been trusted with secret knowledge of the demon seal. I have learned the correct conjuring sign, drawing the inverted star along the rocks arranged in five. First, at the top left, point and then down. I will lure them into the woods, then I will show them my power. First at the top left point, and then down. Hmm. Alright, well, we still gotta find, like, one more demon, though, right? There was four faces in here. Oh shit, is the, is the fourth demon us? Ow. I did it, though. I guess. Aw, oh, shit. I'm bleeding. Man, I could really use a sandwich right about now. I don't know why I thought about that. That's so cool. Shit. I think this is the portal to hell that I mentioned earlier. That we read about in Chapter 2 demo. I want to go down. I just feel like going up is the right way to go, so I want to go down. <laughs> you understand. Ah, oh, oh, never mind. We don't want to go down. Shit. Like, I, I thought for a second I should probably bless that thing, that tree. It just seemed out of place. But, uh, yeah, well, there you fucking go. It's a sudo woodoo. Sudo woodoo? Sudo woodoo? Sudo woodoo, right? Yeah. The fucking rock type in disguise. Which one of you fuckers? Well, it can only be one of you now. None of you? Huh. She guards the door to underground purgatory. I hath not seen her. Children fear her. Damn, dude. Can we go back to where she was? William help me? Um... Okay, cool. I thought it was gonna be, like, the... demo. I had to come back. I had to walk through the corn one last time. I wasn't sure what I would find. The dogs, the children, the thing that took them. It had been five years. I couldn't even find the little graves anymore. I just walked in the field until I found that stupid grinning scarecrow. As I listened to the night wind blowing through the crops, it was like the scarecrow was mocking me. I turned around to go back, and that's when I heard it behind me. Well, it was more like I felt it. I didn't dare turn around. We just stood there. Me, the scarecrow, and the doomed child. Finally, I mustered up a tiny bit of courage and turned to look. It immediately fled in the opposite direction, crashing through the rows of corn. I ran too. 
what little I saw of it drained the blood from my face and made my skin crawl. I say it because whatever I was looking at didn't have a face. Face. <laughs> Just a bloody gaping hole. Alright. Do we have to fight a thing again? Doesn't seem like it. I'm trying, you know? Who's William, anyway? I'm not William. Just repeating. Shut up. God damn it. Alright, I'm out of here. I'm not wanted. Now, is there anything on these sides? Probably not, right? I'm sorry for the excess exploration, but... I really like these games, so... Confess thy sins. I just feel like I gotta give it my all, you know what I mean? Day one of our paranormal investigation into the old Snake Meadow Hill Church. We've got three cameras, a box of tapes, and enough beer and beef jerky to last us a week. On our way in, we asked some of the locals about the church. It was mostly the stories we had heard before. Evil spirits dragging children into the cornfield and secret tunnels under the chapel. But there was this spindly lady game that we hadn't heard yet. Apparently, it has to do with summoning the spirit of a woman who used to take care of the orphans back in the 50s, Sister Belle. There was even an old rhyme they told us. Walk the church from room to room and maybe you will see her. She will move when you do, but never try to trick her. Awesome! We're going to try the game tonight as soon as we get settled in. So walk the church from room to room, maybe you'll meet her, she will move when you do, but never try to trick her. Interesting. I think I did trick her in the demo. They're talking about this mirror, right, that's in this room over here? Oh no, I'm crazy. Never mind. The windows are gone, though. Night 3. Shouldn't have come here. Tape's missing. Lars stuck behind basement door. Henry hasn't come back yet. Can't leave anyway. Why not? Pray for me, Father, for I have sinned. What seeds have you yet to your face? I tried to save a girl from evil, but my fears overcame me. I turned my back on the ministry. And broke my vows to God. A year later, the girl reached out to me again. But in the end, I couldn't save her. I left her to die. I am sorry for me and my past sins. Thou hast said will. Here is my penance. Bring the child to me. Perform the sad of the attrition. And thou shalt have the peace thou seekest. Give thanks to the Lord for his good. For his mercy and yours forever. Yeah, you could eat a fucking huge dick. I am... Whoa, where am I? What is this? Night one, we still haven't found a way into the basement, but we found something just as cool. A secret passage in the old confession booth leading to this hallway. Henry's going into town to buy a crowbar. We'll see if we can get these boards off of some of these doors, but that's not even the best part. He caught an EVP. You can't hear it on the tape very well, but to us, it kind of sounded like laughing. Thank God we brought the nice mic. We'll review it on the sound gear once we get back into town. That's cool. I'm not bringing any children back if that's like actually an option. Not doing it. 
That sounds like bad ending territory. And this is good. Good John. Defeat evil John. Um, can you be blessed? I haven't blessed anything in a while. It feels weird. Oh, Jesus. You. Oh? I couldn't even bless anything. Dude, I think I know what those candles mean. Yeah, I think I know what these candles mean. They're just a map, right? Night two. We're gonna be rich. We've caught supernatural stuff on camera before. Sure, doors opening on their own, things falling off of shells, but nothing like this. Tonight, while we were trying the spindly lady game again, one of the candles on the floor lit up by itself as soon as Lars walked into the room. It was nuts and we got it all on film. We're gonna make a fortune selling this to the TV stations. Oh, how'd that go, dude? I gotta know. So it's a map. It's where you are, right? That's the idea. So then, what room haven't we gone into? This is first room. Right? Slowly traverse each room. So, here it's telling me to go up. So, oh shoot, what does this mean? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, it's- is it like following us? I'm confused about these candles. There's like a room or something over here. Obviously we can't see it, maybe? This is weird. Another puzzle, man. We will figure it out. Oh! Why? Why? Just because I tried to trick you? <laughs> That's fucked up, man. Do I have to, like, redo all of these? Damn it. So let me see the spindly game. Walk the church from room to room, and maybe you will see her. He will move when you do, but never try to trick her. Walk the church from room to room, and maybe you will see her. She will move when you do, but never try to trick her. What part of that rhymes? Hello? Okay, so we can fight her. No! Damn, that was close. You fuck. Carrot cake? Oh shit, I didn't even mean to go down here. Darkness surrounds thee. This is my final memoir. Hastily scribbled on a page of the good book. I now descend the staircase, knowing full well that she waits for me ahead. Checking my old watch has revealed something quite astonishing. Time doesn't change down here, as we know it on the surface. Even now, the hands don't move past 2 a.m. Or 2 o'clock, whatever. Most likely 2 a.m. 
God's work be done. I have been to where only the faintest lights shine and protect from things unspeakable. God help me. Father Clark, a foolish old man, going mad in this dark prison, ears bleeding from the screams of the demon. We'll see about that. See, John, John Ward, he does things a little bit differently. You know? Just a little bit different. Oh, shit. There's no light. <laughs> That's hardly fair. Let's fucking do it again. Ah, uh, maybe we just can't be in there too long? Huh. <laughs> which one's good and which one isn't? Ah, uh, shit. Dude. Alright, settle down. Aw, oh, there's no way I'm making it, dude. Oh, shit. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be, like, reaching. So can I go this way? Ah, <sighs> okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, shit. No way. <laughs> Mother of demons. Cool. I mean, that was just fucking luck. I was overthinking it. Basically, just figure out the path. Oh, Jesus Christ. Three murdered in latest wave of ritualistic killings. Sterling, Connecticut. Bodies of three young people were discovered in the woods outside of Sterling last night in what authorities are calling a ritualistic murder. Sandra Atwood, Angel Nog Nogales, and Troy Ingles... Ingles? are the names of the three of the unfortunate victims who were apparently stabbed multiple times and beheaded before being killed in a proper paganistic ritual. Pandemonium Regnet. Regnat? Two of the victims' bodies were also partially burned, although authorities would not specify who. The bodies were found several miles from Gallup Cemetery, where residents reported a tomb had been desecrated. They also found trails of blood leading off into the woods. Investigators would not comment on whether or not these incidents could be related. The arrangement of the bodies in a ritualistic pattern as well as the writing of certain symbols in blood matches the style of several murders that have occurred in the Sterling area since 1986. The killings may be connected to last week's brutal slaying of Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl by John Ward. What? So that was the canon ending? Ward had impersonated a priest to gain Amy's trust before luring her into the woods and killing her. Investigators are asking residents to report any suspicious activity to the police. Authorities are urging the people of Sterling to not mourn the loss of Atwood, Nogales, and Inglis because after all, they were degenerate, devil-worshipping thugs who were hooked on crack cocaine and hated their parents. Why even conduct an investigation at all? That's what you would like them to think, wouldn't you, John? They were just three pathetic outcasts who got what they deserved. You actually did the community a favor when you found them getting high in that tomb. You stalked them through the graves and killed them one by one. You ignored their cries for help, their pleas for mercy. You put holes in their ruined drug addict bodies, and then you chopped off their heads because everybody knows 
that removing the head is the only way to kill a snake. Well, guess what? You didn't kill the snake, John. You cannot kill what cannot be killed. Thou shalt not raise up what thou canst not put down again. Thou couldst not kill Amy. Thou shalt not destroy my works, for they are the works of the eternal dragon. Even now she is at thy door. Her hand is at thy throat, yet you see her not. I will have thy soul, for I am the god of this world. Pandemonium Regnat Satani Vitae Pandemonium Regnat. Okay. Demon speak. Demon? Oh, fuck. All right. Okay, come on. <laughs> this is getting fucked. I'm here, John. What? I'm a demon. Or a spider. <laughs> um. Oh, thank God. I thought I was gonna, like, kill them or something. Whew, alright. Candy Tunnel. That's fucked in its own way. Death awaits. Um... What are you? We could go up or right, so... Let's check out the up path first, since we're here already. You know, not so many things to bless in this chapter. Satin lives. <laughs> what the hell? Hey. What's up with this, um... The arrows. Read? <laughs> what do you want me to read? Ah, shit. Alright, here we go. You guys ever get the feeling- Oh, shit! Oh, come on! There was nothing I could have done. Zero. I thought I could ward him off with my blessing powers. Let's go this way. Oh, shit. Multiple officers wounded, one dead in sewer tunnel shootout. Law enforcement officials are reporting multiple officers down, including one deputy who was fatally wounded after one exchange of gunfire in the sewer tunnels near Snake Meadow Hill Road also known as the Candy Tunnel. Witnesses say they heard the shots approximately 10 minutes after police raided the tunnels, where suspected murderer Joe Bowman, aka the Candy Store Killer, was alleged to be hiding. At this time, it is not known how many officers have been wounded, although it has been confirmed that one officer has been killed. Officials are not saying if Bowman was wounded in the exchange, and efforts are being made to recover the casualties from the tunnels. Shit, so he's still in here. That's the one who killed me. That's probably him right there. Alright, this time we're not falling for it. He was calling me a whore. Oh, you can actually walk up to them when you um 
when you what? Oh, when you see it, don't move. Not moving. Fucking A, dude. Is it okay to move now? Blessed. Blessed finesse. He went this way. Huh. Man, this is so cool. <laughs> uh, can you believe this game is only like 20 fucking megabytes? There's just something about really tiny games having a lot of content that just makes me feel good, you know? I'm tired of 230 gigabyte games. I'm sorry, God, please save me. Well, you know, it's not for me to decide. I'm just John Ward. Probably not a priest anymore. Probably never was, really. You know, is is John just crazy? Like, that could be an actual thing, right? I didn't want to come here. It's too late. <laughs> Oh, fuck! Mortis. Ah, you bitch. How was I supposed to know? I guess we're supposed to find a flashlight, maybe? God. Every time you get this thing, it's like a huge fucking problem. Too late, priest, he said. <laughs> Where'd he go? He said something about nine flavors again. This has been a really weird <laughs> experience. Okay. I mean, I'm going up there. I have a flashlight now. Am I supposed to avoid these? He is here? Um, clean... something. <laughs> what is it? What is it? I don't like it. Oh, Jesus Christ. What is it? Oh my god. They hate the light. Well, they're about to get a lot of it, dude. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah, back up. Back the fuck up. God, that's, this is fucking terrifying. Back up. I don't know where to go. Ah, oh, this sucks, dude! Dude, can I even do this? Back up, dude. Is this enough? This is so much. I feel like I'm not even supposed to- Okay, thank goodness. Alright, now that I did that, now what? Can we leave? Oh shit. Okay. Is there another doorway? I guess I have to go back in. God, I hate this flashlight. It's so bad. Oh my god, this is not good. This is a terrible position, let me reset. Something's not about to happen, right? Okay. <laughs> what do I do about this? <laughs> you know what I think this probably is? This is probably get all the endings, right? Feels like it. Okay, but now that I... Oh, right, we just have to go back. Jesus. Fuck off. God damn. Please let me out. And save. Oh, you son of a bitch. I'm stressed. This We haven't saved him. Get blessed, bitch! Oh no. You're putting me in charge of your life, dude. Shit. I'll try my best, man. Can you save? God damn, please. Why can't we? Garcia, why can't we save? I'll do my best, man. Okay, saved. Woo! I will say, oh, the Lord, he is my refuge and my 
I'm right behind you, dude. Back the fuck up. Back the fuck up. I'm so focused. They'll kill us both if they hit us. <gasps> no, Garcia, where are you? Oh, fuck. Where is he, dude? Oh, Jesus Christ! That's fucked up. The strat? Oh! Yeah, bitch. What's up? I really hope Garcia is okay. Do you think if I let her get close, um... God, what a shitty way to do this, eh? Why? Yeah, we stand together. Whoa. That's fucked up. No way. <laughs> That's so messed up. God damn it, dude. Ow. It's so hard to to interpret it with the depth. I don't know how the fuck I survived that other time. No! You're not gonna kill fucking Garcia. Not on my watch. I'd sooner die. That's what it's about. Bros stick together, dude. <laughs> I guess that was my fault, but... Oh my god, which way? Walk off, dude. Oh. Dude, get away from him.
what was I? I guess I could have walked away, but I didn't want him to die. Which way? I hate this one the most, dude. Oh. That was so close! That's right. No way that was just a dream. No way. The morning breaks. That shit really happened, dude. John, I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. I will always love you back. Karen. Well, clearly that's not true, Karen. If you loved John, you would have stayed. I'm not going in there. Damn, I wonder what's in there. John, we don't have much time. The profane Sabbath is almost upon us. If they find Nate and Jason, they will perform a ritual on them to call forth a demon of unspeakable power. The name of the demon is Malthus. I am in the process of discovering their whereabouts. I will contact you again soon. You must not let them do to the boys what they did to Amy, Father Garcia. He's right, dude. My nightmares are getting worse. Ever since I left that house, I am haunted by visions of demons. I finished my work with Amy, but now the boys are in danger. This time I must not fail, Malfas must be stopped. As the profane Sabbath draws closer, the workers of darkness grow stronger. This will be my greatest test of faith yet. God have mercy on my soul. Nice. Ending one, go forth with faith. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so... So, alright. So, if we let him die this time... No, kill him. <laughs> Not me. Oh, fuck. Get me out of there. Get me out of the vortex. Yeah, kill him. Thank you. So I, I guess this is the other ending? Man, that's so cool. I wonder, like, does he rotoscope that, you think? I'm not 
I'm so interested in what's in there. John, it is not too late. Your soul can still be saved. All is not lost. Please wait for my next letter. For now I have many questions that need answering. In the meantime, be careful. They are watching you, Father Garcia. Hmm. I survived a nightmare, but did I really do the right thing? I don't know what is real anymore. My face is weak, and I feel a dark shadow over me. If I can save the boys, maybe I will find what I'm looking for. Oh. All right, so how do we get how do we get the um the third ending, though. Because I can't imagine we could just, like, go back, right? Alright, so while looking at what I was doing wrong and getting in, getting this ending, I saw that there was a speed run of it, so we're gonna try to beat it, because I've already played this chapter, like, three or four times trying to get this ending. So, uh, yeah, let's just do it, see what happens. Oh man, we're gonna kill it. I already know it. Look at this. Look at the pacing. Look at the lines. The perfect angle. Check this out. Oh my god, you've never seen anybody cut an angle like that. Not even Mike Tyson. Okay, so it's top left. Um, bottom right, I think. Let's see. I think it's this one. This one. No, it's not? Okay, I know what it is now. This one. This no? What? It's not this one, is it? What is going on here? It's you? Aww. Um This one. Uh, I think we gotta do it in like succession. So that one. That one. That one. That one, and then that one. I'm gonna fucking wait here. I think I have to kill that thing, dude. Yeah, totally. What's this? Notes, new patient initial consultation, John Thomas Ward. Present, Dr. James Spinnell, PhD, and two orderlies. Subject non-responsive for first half hour, followed by fragmented exorcism narrative. Subject unable to maintain consistency in story, for example stating that Amy was in the basement and then saying she was in the attic. Subject insists incident was the result of demonic possession. Cannot declare subject of sound mind. Will require several more sessions to fully understand subject's mental state. Will advise Martin fam Martin's family attorneys. Okay. So we're fucking crazy in this timeline, then. That's fine with me. Oh my god, another hit. Another hit? Are you serious? That's right, carrot cake. I got stuck on the rooftop. <laughs> Buddy, you got somewhere to be. You son of a bitch! <laughs> Holy shit.
You're not dead. Dude, he took so much damage. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm free. The world record is 2343? Whatever your bitch. You gotta do things with confidence as a spider thing. <laughs> No way, you son of a bitch. Oh, thank goodness it doesn't put me super far away. I hate this. I hate this area because it's hard to control where they're gonna go. That's a really smart way of doing that. Oh, thank god. Well done, thou... Good and faithful servant, we shall visit thee soon. Yay. There's no way I'm gonna beat this in 40 seconds. We're gonna have to go hard on the paint here. No, Father Garcia! No. Yeah, nice. 25.19. Not a bad time to stop on. Ending three, initiation. Nice. We did it, guys. Now we can move on to Faith Chapter 3 demo. Let's do that. All right. It's a new day. I was uh, pretty faithed out by the end of Chapter 2 demo. Um, this looks like an elevator. All right, so what would a man of God do? He would go to the 10th floor and he would fight Satan immediately. You know, since it's a new day, I came into this with a fresh perspective, a new outlook on life, if you will. And uh, I think that um, John Ward is kind of fucking crazy. And I'll explain why momentarily. Okay, so there actually is 10 floors. Fuck. I'm gonna be here all day, dude. Um, basically what I was saying is, uh, yeah, like, I just can't imagine anybody, even a man of, of God, would willingly face these things alone, right? Like, I would go to the Vatican and I'd be like, you have to see this. <laughs> I don't know. Sacrifice what you cling to. Wait, do they want me to throw... How do I interact with things? Huh. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Maybe I just can't do it yet? Hmm, I don't like... I don't like the sound of... Sacrificing what I cling to, which... In this game, the only thing is... My bless weapon. Plus ten. Man, if you've if you've actually watched this whole thing, I am so fucking proud of you <laughs> and thankful. I I like looked at the VODs for all the games up until now and I was like, God damn, this is almost three hours of stuff. Is anybody gonna watch this? And here you are. Beautiful you. So thank you. Bless. Finesse. Alright, I guess we're just gonna go floor by floor then. Clear it out, you know? 
Honestly, this was probably the best idea I could have had with just how fucking crazy huge this game is. Look, an open door. See what I mean? Our sister Tiffany has gone against the will of the unspeakable. I thought I could trust her, but I was wrong. Proceed with the original plan. The woman in 5A will be our vessel. Let her pious friend come to rescue her. The unspeakable shall crush them both. Okay. So guess where the fuck I'm going? 5A. But first... We have to make sure everything else is okay. <laughs> Stick with me as I clear these floors one by one very slowly. Shit. There is a seventh floor. Okay, so I guess I have to get there with the elevator. Boop, boo, doo, doo, doo. Floor seven. So, do you guys think there's something <laughs> if I keep hitting this? I like almost guarantee it, right? There's no way Airdorf, this fucking guy, would not put something on the seventh floor. Um, I'll go to the 6th floor, just to check to see if there's like a staircase up. Just because I don't want to be here all day. Something I definitely would do. I would waste my whole fucking day just hitting floor 7. I'd do it 666 times. Seriously, I fucking really would. <laughs> oh man, wrong way. I'm playing these games while well, I should just be doing what I'm supposed to do. I know I have to go to 5A. Just go to 5A. No. One mystery at a time. Can I bless you? I can. So I finally have my own place in the city. No more annoying roommates. I have a whole apartment all to myself. The building's nice. It seems new. Neighbors are kind of weird, though. They're always coming around bringing food and stuff. It's actually making me a little sick. Another thing is the mirrors. They're everywhere in the halls. It's nice because I can look around corners, which makes me feel safe. But it's still weird. I don't know exactly how to describe it, but when I look at myself in those mirrors, I feel like it's not me in the reflection. Of course, when I come, when I came from work, when I came home from work today. The elevator didn't work, so I had to take the weird one-way stairs all the way up to the sixth floor. Then I noticed all the weird, all the, <laughs> all the mirrors were shattered. God damn it! What does this say? There is no seventh floor. Ah. So there's no way to the seventh floor, huh? I guess we'll just see about that. The mashing king. The push all the buttons until he wins. That gamer is in your midst. Oh shit, alright. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. So. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we saw it, right? That's it. Oh god. Alright, fine. There's nothing. Jesus Christ. You've disappointed me, Erdorf. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, 5A. Bless? Of course it is. I should have just gone all the way to the left. What am I thinking?
Does this staircase go up or down? It's hard to tell. I don't know if that's up or down. It looks like up, though. Okay, let's go down, then. You know, it might have been easier if I went from 1 to 10 instead of 10 to 1, but... Too late, you know? Also, if you knew that Satan himself was after you, <laughs> would you ever go on an elevator? The answer for me is no. At the same time, I would not get an apartment on the 8th or ninth floor either. Probably not even the 5th or the 4th. Fuck that. Okay, well I'd imagine that door, that key leads to that door that's locked. Bless? No. Man, I'm so scared right now. It's gonna pop out at me. I, I know it. It's... Alright, I'm gonna bless you. Ah, yeah, that's what I thought, eh? Nobody wants the blessing. I'm gonna go back up and see if this key works. How are you guys doing, by the way? I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys have your snacks and are enjoying them. Ah, shit. Oh, well, look at that. The fucking portal, I believe. It's no match for me. Get blessed, idiot. What is a sword and a head? A key and a note. If you wish to break the seal of a loo, your answer lies in the bloodstained knife and the darkness beneath. But only those who have ascended to the highest point can descend to the lowest depths. Remember, Gary loves you. Oh yeah? I think they want me to go to the 10th floor and drop the crucifix. The cross. The almighty cross. The blessed weapon plus 10 itself. And we're gonna go do it because... I mean, what else, <laughs> what else can we do? It's not like John could equip a gun. He should have brought his gun. Holy shit, I just thought about that. Why wouldn't John use a gun? He's shown us that he would use it. He's probably even a really good shot. Only has to worry about two dimensions. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. All right. Basement dumbwaiter. How to use? Pull up on the handle to open latch two. Place item or being to be sacrificed inside the container. Pull down on handle to close hatch. Press button to send dumbwaiter to basement. Light will blink red if done successfully. Please make sure your sacrifice does not jostle around inside the container. Do not open hatch once dumbwaiter has reached the basement. I do not have enough earplugs and I am tired of people losing them. Please wait for the green light to come on before using. So wait. <sighs> so place it inside the container. Pull down the handle to close the hatch. Press the button to send it, and it'll blink red if it was done successfully. The rest, I think, is just jibber-jabber, whatever. Oh my god, is this CCTV? No way. I'm kind of scared. Give up the cross? Yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised. Alright. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Shit. That didn't take long. What are those? I thought they were trees. 
Well, they were trying to stop me from getting to the ninth floor, right? So... Oh, come on. Please don't jump scare me, please don't- oh, fuck, son of a bitch. Here we go. Wait a second. Can I just leave? <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> Had a really good idea. Fourth floor, huh? We can't go down to three, so I guess we gotta try to go back to 5A? John, why don't you ever carry a flashlight? You've needed it for two games now. Fuck. <laughs> I, I, I fucking... I just mentioned this, and now here we are taking pictures of shit. Oh my god. This is exactly the type of shit I'm talking about. Thank god we saved. This door is open. Literal flashing light warning. I'm scared that I might run into something that would kill me. So I'm like... Kind of taking my time with it. Well, shit. What am I supposed to do with this information? Mortis. Yeah, that's my fault. So these red guys do like light. Oh, I don't even know what I was looking at. What is- what is this? We're, we're points of interest? There's a corpse in the bottom left. There's like- OH NO PLEASE! I'm going back out. I think if you flash too many times, the red guy comes at you. Dude, where the hell am I supposed to go? Oh, there was a doorway. I did not see that. What a tragedy. Imagine not having a flashlight. Dude, the door's locked. Wait, what? I'm bleeding. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's so fucked. Why am I even bleeding? No, 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 no. Hmm. I can't leave this room, can I? Oh, no, 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 no. Dude, he totally cut that wall. Everybody in the world saw him do that. What a cheating bitch. <laughs> I 
can't catch a break, dude. What's that on the mirror? Guess we'll never know. This has totally been the scariest chapter so far. Fuck. I I hate this gimmick, but you got to admit it's it's effective. I can't even leave. Ooh, a letter. I can't read it? What was that? I'm very confused. I think it was the, um... The mailboxes? If I had to guess. We're gonna get our fucking... Our bless weapon back, and that'll be it for these guys. Oh my god, it's blood wash. How did we get here? <gasps> there it is. Oh no. Am I not supposed to touch these or something? Don't care, baby. Fucking... Now what? Don't even care. Bless weapon. Oh, no, no, no. How do I... Is it possible to use another weapon here? How do I use my camera? <laughs> it's still useful. I still want to use it. I'm going to die. I know exactly what that sound means, dude. It means we're going to die. No way it doesn't mean that. Oh. The power's back on. Kind of sounded like Halo. My beloved Gary. Alas, mask is already stained with blood. My blood. The ritual is complete. You will not find me on this mortal plane, for I am beyond. Look for me in the unseen world if you dare. Tiffany. Uh-oh. This plot's getting a little Jojo for me. I don't like it. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Put it on, John. Become a vampire. Wait, don't I want this, though? So I don't want it. What? Wait, what? <laughs> oh no, do I have to do this every time? Well, I better figure this out quick. Let me try to see if I could go back. It doesn't save. I don't get it. What am I supposed to do with this? Oh, I see. You can't leave the room. You have to fight him. Well, you want to fight so bad, bitch? Then let's do it. I just got my... <laughs> my blessed weapon. So be ready. Oh my god. You're the whore. Nice. 
nice. Ah, oh, it doesn't save. That's not good. Is there anything in here that I can bless? I feel like there might be one, right? Hmm. Oh, what the fuck? Mr. Ward, I am sorry to have worried you. I am perfectly fine. I have not been feeling like myself lately. However, I am much better now. Please do not trouble yourself with coming to visit. I have decided to take an extended vacation in the country, so you will not find me at home. Sincerely, Lisa Pearson. I shall take my from Lisa. Um, can I? John, for now, this is the only way I can contact you. I think they're watching me. I need you to come over as soon as you can. The situation has gotten much worse. My address is this place, most likely. Thank you. Lisa, P.S. If for some reason I don't answer the door, get the spare key from my friend Tiffany. Hmm. John, I don't know if you're getting my letters or not, but I hope you'll be here soon. I really need your help. They're in the apartment. I see them all the time now. I can hear them in the darkness. I haven't slept in days. When you get here, just come straight to my place. Tiffany can't be trusted. Don't talk to my neighbors either. They won't let me leave. Lisa. And this is the note that we just found. Okay. So we probably should have, like, actually came this way first, but, you know, you know how I am. I don't, uh, I don't follow the rules. Can I leave? I'm not gonna. I feel like you can, and it would probably do something bad. Now let's just go to the fifth floor. Nothing is gonna be different. Pretty sure. Things John needs every every time he leaves his house: a flashlight, a crucifix, and a gun. This guy. <laughs> He's in more danger than anybody could handle. Ooh, look at this. You know what that is. We all know what, what that formation is. Hello, I'm here. I come open door. I see. I probably need... Something else, huh? Let's check this other side and then we'll check all the rooms. What the hell are you? Blessed? Hello. I think we've been in 3B. Maybe we go through the same area again, but this time we have the cross? Hey. Yeah, fuck off. Everything is lit now, so... <laughs> yeah, here we go. This seems like the right place to bless. Look at that. Brothers and sisters, praise the unspeakable. We have been graced with the presence of another great demon. Alu is here. I do not understand his motive, but he has put his seal over the vessel's door. This may be Tiffany's doing, but, may, but it may also be a test of our faith. Do not cease to pray. Swallow your pills. You may have twice as many as normal. 
Seal yourselves in with bricks and mortar. And if that so-called priest shows up, take him and eviscerate him over the altar. Preferably still alive. Remember, Gary loves you. Oh yeah? Come, come get me then. Oh shit. I'm just going back down to where I was. Dude, that poor guy is dead. Two A's open. I don't think I've been in here. Yeah, I have. Oh, the sword is right there, dude. <laughs> Every initiated follower knows that in order to bring about the second death, one must sacrifice seven asterisk by passing them through the asterisk carved out of the impure vessel's face. Then shall the unspeakable reward the asterisk with the second death. Such was the fate of that whore Amy. My beloved Gary has set his sights far too low. I will surpass her. Oh. Give me that. That's mine. Man, I could have done this so much sooner. Or no, I couldn't because I didn't have the crucifix. Duh. Alright, now we go home. 5A, baby. I can't believe I went all the way up to the 10th floor and down. Just to find something that I already saw. Hmm, hello. Door open. <laughs> Fuck. Alright. Bless. So you can't keep up with John? What are you crazy? Oh, that's the thing. Oh, it should. Okay. Am I dead? What, what do I... Ending 2? Gary loves you. Fuck. Okay, at least we get to... I thought... Uh, I thought we would have to start all over. Damn, that kind of scared me. Alright, so... What am I supposed to do? I'm already blessing. Bless power activate. It didn't do anything! Um... So I wonder what I'm supposed to do when I'm in that state. I might have to... See, I like... I tried pushing all the buttons. But I think... I don't think we're supposed to do that. What the fuck do I do? I think, um... I think maybe... Oh, I see. Ah, we gotta guess correctly. Fuck, alright. Got you. <laughs> I kind of, I think I get it, but I pretty much want to position myself in a place where I can 
Alright, I'm not gonna get it, so I'm gonna go as far away from her as possible. Now I'm gonna mash. Come on, dude! Jesus Christ! It's so hard. Get stuck, you idiot. Oh my god, which one is it? Bitch. All right, all right, all right. We're doing good. I pretty much want to put myself like here in the middle and already start blessing something. Shit, alright. Alright, just go mash heavy <laughs> in the opposite direction. Alright, which one is it? Oh god, I'm really close to her. Get the f oh! <sighs> this is so bullshit. Here she's going so fast, god damn it. Are you dead? Where are you going? Ending one. Oh, thanks for playing. Is that Gary? Thanks for playing. Wishless Faith on Steam. Already done, dude. This game's coming out in a week or something. I don't even know, but... He keeps tweeting about it, so that's what's got me thinking it's close, you know. Alright, let's leave. Fuck. Well, alright, guys. That's it for me. That's it for this video, actually. Everything has been found, and everything is in one comprehensive really stupid video <laughs> so feel free to come back to it if you ever think man i totally forgot everything about faith so yeah thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video consider subscribing and uh have a have a blessed day and rest of your weekend since, since this is uploaded on sunday as bonus all right guys bye bye thanks for watching